Hi, this is Dr. Doug Lucas, the Chief Science Officer of PhD Weight Loss and Nutrition. I wanted to do a quick video today regarding the topic of my most recent blog post available on our website at myphdweightloss.com under the research corner. So the topic of the most recent blog was hormone replacement therapy, or HRT, and weight loss. At PhD, we pride ourselves on our evidence-based nutrition and behavioral modification approach to weight loss. We don't use hormone therapy, However, we get a fair number of questions about it, so I wanted to address it directly. When I looked at the keywords of weight loss, hormone replacement therapy, I actually came up with zero studies. No study could I find that actually had weight loss as the desired outcome from hormone replacement therapy. So while people may lose probably a negligible amount of weight with hormone replacement therapy, the goal is not necessarily weight loss. However, I did find something that's interesting and compelling and leads to maybe a reason to consider hormone replacement therapy that you would need to discuss with your physician or healthcare group. So what I found is in the studies looking at weight loss, there is a consistent reduction in circulating hormone levels as a result of weight loss. So the study that I linked to in the blog demonstrated that those that had the highest level of weight loss had the highest reduction in hormones, including estrogen and testosterone. And the point of the study was to look at that from a cancer prevention standpoint. So obesity is closely associated with cancers and the thought is because of the, the higher levels of, of estrogen and other hormones due to the visceral fat actually producing these hormones. And the reduction of those hormones may lead to an improvement in your cancer risk. What's interesting though, and they didn't discuss this in the study, is that if you do lose a significant amount of weight and you do have a significant change in your hormone levels, you may actually find that you have some symptoms as a result of those hormones being different in your body. Now, the reality is, is they may just be normal and they haven't been normal for a long time for you, but your body hasn't gotten used to them yet. So we talk with our clients about optimizing, obviously, nutrition, behaviors, sleep, your stress management. If all of those things have been optimized and you still have feelings uh, that your hormones are off, whether it be fatigue or hot flashes for women or uh, low libido, lots of things that I've listed in the blog, you may want to consider having your levels checked. So there are plenty of ways to do this. Lots of companies out there. We've partnered with one that we like called Renew Life RX. That company has uh, given our clients uh, a discount code, which is available in the blog, so I'd encourage you to check that out. As long as you've checked off those boxes that you've modified and um, optimized all the other things, discuss this with your primary care team, and then you may wanna consider looking at this company because I find they do a great job. So that's all I've got for you today. I hope that's helpful, and this is Dr. Doug Lucas supporting your performance, health, and diet, PhD.